Hello, welcome back to Greenhawk. Uh, right, as I said in the previous videos, we are carrying out a rewire. So it's day one of the rewire. Um, I actually came and changed the consumer unit. Um, it was uh, a little while ago and every single circuit was not good. So it just needs a rewire. There's nothing that has been messed about with left, right and centre. So it's become uneconomical to repair. So. Here we are, we're doing the rewire. Um, so what we always do on a, on a rewire, fortunately if the clients are moving out, um, so they've managed to move out to, um, just to make it a lot easier for us. So what I always do, I strip the board out, um, I put a couple of temporary supplies on. So, so as it stands right now, um, I've got one garage feed, which is, that one uh, and then the other one is just a temporary socket which we just just lashed in <coughs> in down here um, <coughs> and that's really just so I've got a bit of power uh, keeping the fridges and freezers on um, so in this particular house there's not masses different but later on this kitchen is going to be done uh, going to be replaced so we're getting things in like the down lights uh, are going to be going in in you know, there's no point doing that twice. So the downlot's gonna be going ready for the kitchen. Um, so what we're planning on doing is bringing everything up uh, to regulation height and part M. So for socket wise, they're obviously 450 to the bottom uh, of the socket. Uh, light switches are all coming down to 1200 to the top. Um, so I'm just gonna show you how we will go about doing this. Like I say, everyone's got their own different take on it. Um, it's just how we do it. Uh, we're gonna try and salvage the ceiling. Yes, it's gonna be uh, skimmed over at some point, but we're gonna try and salvage this because they wanna have a room that they can get done quickly uh, once it's all done. So what Kian's doing now is, so we'll get the green beam on because the joists are running that way, all the way along. Um, so we're gonna cut a channel in, it's sort of, that all the way down here uh, and we drill through all the joists so we've got this access there's two bedrooms um, which I'll take you upstairs there's two bedrooms basically that have had new carpets fitted already and then there's some others that that uh, are yet to have the carpets done which is good news for us because I can cut them uh, and get them out of the way so the landing being one that's gonna come up because Luckily enough, we caught it in time um, because they're actually in the process of decorating the whole house. They're going to go start going through it from top to bottom. And that means new bathroom, kitchen and all the rest of it. So really, it's the perfect time to do it. Um, so yeah, so in here, so this is so obviously at the minute we're above the, um, we're above the living room. So in this room, so that's had a new carpet in here. So the socket down here, so there's one, two, another one down there, that's gonna come off the back of an additional socket that's gonna go in there. So that room, in theory, shouldn't have too much disruption in there. Um, like I say, the homeowner's been brilliant. They've just moved, moved everything out with you know, very, very short notice as well. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's, it's definitely the way forward that we feel for, for doing it this way. Like I said, the bathroom's, the bathroom's gonna be redone because um, there's some leaking and things like that. So there's one ceiling downstairs, the whole thing's gonna come down because it's just blown anyway. So it's sort of killed two birds with one stone. Um, I'll show you down here. Uh, there's another garage supply to go in. Uh, I'll take you outside and show you how this one was wired up originally. So there's gonna be some modifications done uh, to bring the house, make the house a bit more user friendly. Um, so the garage feed as it stands now, yes, it is a bit of armored, but it's actually ran up like that and ran through and then it's from that corner there. It's just, just flapping in the wind. So it's actually gonna be buried in into the ground down here um, through that bit. So, so yeah, so like I say, we'll get cracking uh, and I'll catch up with you once we've done a little bit further. Um, but yeah, oh, that's the ceiling because it's all it's all blown and stuff where it's had water leaks. So we're going to pull the whole thing down anyway and get get stuck into it. 
But if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the corner. Um, leave your comments below and give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. Cheers. Right, we've just pulled down this ceiling here so you can see all, all the joys, what's going on in here. Um, I just wanted to show you this. Um, in this section here, which is running across, that's been joined three times. And we're gonna get up there. Look. So we're gonna unwrap this together if we can. Oh look, that's no good. Excuse me one second. Sorry about that, the phone went off. So we're gonna unwrap this together. So there's all my neutrals. Look at them beauties. And not only that, Pretty sure that's not allowed. <laughs> Mental, um, and that's what that's what you're up against when you you know you come to change a board or whatever. You you're up against stuff like that. So I think it was well overdue getting rewired. Um, so yeah, so this I'm going to try on this job is take as many photos and images as I can on all the issues that that are there because i like to give that over to the client and say look this is why because it costs a lot of money you know, let's, let's, let's be honest it does cost a lot of money to get your house rewired so um it's nice to give it at the end of it look this is what you've been living like although you didn't know that it was there but these are the potential risks so yeah whoever's done that own up right we're Got all those bits sorted now. We've got some of the um, floorboards up, ready to go. So those three there weren't even fixed down. Um, so what we're gonna do is, you see all these old cables now? We're gonna cut all those out, get rid of all those. Kian's got the, um, the channel out in the ceiling. So we've made our, our plan through. So we've got pretty much a run for everywhere. There's a lot of old pipe work and stuff that's uh, not needed anymore. So we're just going to cut all this out and get rid of it. I was just explaining to Kian that, that the idea is to try and get rid of as much cable for the old stuff as you can physically get rid of. Uh, and it's not to weigh it in if that's what people think because we never bother doing any of that anyway. Um, I can never be bothered to have bags and bags of cable kicking around my house. So forget that. So what we're going to do is like so Kian's done all the channel up here now. So we're going to pull all these out and then we've got, he's just cutting all those out now. Um, and then we've got all the old stuff out. Um, and, and we aren't going to worry about anything of the old stuff getting in the way and stuff like that. So we can just, just crack on. Um, but yeah, like I say, you undercover, uncover lots of hidden nasties really when, you, when you're doing this. Like I say, this ceiling needed to come down anyway. But like that. It was literally just just there like that sitting on and that was live no no coverings no nothing just sitting there um so you know it's it's one of those sort of jobs but the other thing that we will do as well is we'll we'll take all all the covers off so on all the sockets and different bits and bobs like i say this has all been done um and bonded but uh, that's all got to be redone because um, it's not it's not obviously acceptable to have it like this. So that's all going to be redone anyway. Um, so yeah, so we always take all the accessories off. Um, hopefully, then we can tie onto the old stuff, get directly above, and just pull it pull it through. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't always happen uh, because it's. Um, it only takes a little dink or something like that on the capping and that's it it's it's not going to happen um so the we're also going to put down lights as well in the bathroom ready for the bathroom bathroom to be um renovated so so yeah so the other thing is my dust extractor's broke um so in the process of looking to get a new one um I like Festool stuff um, on on there. I've got the Festool chaser, and we've also got the plunge saws and things like that. So, I say I'm, I'm think they're the best the, the way to go with those. So, 
Um, like I say, I've just got to speak to Steve because he's the carpenter of the firm. So when I'm not using it for chases, because let's be honest, it's the only time I'll actually use it. Um, Steve uses it for all the MDF and all the carpentry stuff, uh, the carpentry side of the business. So it's really what's more critical for him than, than me, really. Um, so yeah, so if you've got a Festool or any other dust extractor, then just leave it in the comments below how you get on with it and whether it's, I haven't ordered anything as yet um, and see how you get on. So, but I'm kind of desperado, so I'm gonna need that fairly soon. So, but yeah, like I say, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the videos, it all, all helps. So yeah, I shall catch up with you once we've got all these out I think I think that's probably the best plan and then we'll I'll show you how we we set out then right we've got the <coughs> oh excuse me the um, upstairs ring cables are in um, so we always just put them in loose like so there's gonna be one there one there there's one on the back side of that room there one there uh, and this cable runs through here. There's going to be one, well, two, the other side of that wall there. So that's what that spool's for. Um, a socket up here, and then there's some in that room. Um, we always do it that way, um, just so people do know, because, because like I say, no one's going to stop here, and no one's living here while we're doing it. So what I like to do is get all the cables ran, and then do all the chasing on one day. Um, which is a fun day when it's just chasing, chasing all day. Uh, if I can get the cables run, that's then the floor can start going back down and start getting a bit more normality. But um, yeah, that's how I've always done it. If anyone does it any differently, just uh, just let me know. Um, I've always done it that way, um, to be honest. But so yeah, so this is another thing that we purchased not too long ago. Was the super rod set, which is. Which was that one, which is like the, I don't know, whatever the, the mega set it's called there a lot. It's a bit, bit of a statement, isn't it? But, but to be honest, it's actually brilliant. Um, and I know people, people are going on about this cable tongue. So uh, I'm not entirely sure because I've not even seen it yet. I've seen it in, uh, in the wholesale, but I've not seen it you know, actually in use yet. So whether that's something to, to look into, because I don't think that's particularly expensive, but this was about 150 quid, I think, at the time. Um, but for a job like this, it's, we couldn't do it without it, to be honest. So, so yeah, so we're just gonna get cracking. I think we're gonna get on with the um, upstairs lights now, I reckon, start getting those, the cables running, see if we can pull some of these, but it's, you never really know, it's hit and miss. Um, so we're gonna get on with those. Get get cracking with them and uh, see where see where we're at after that. Cause I've just had to nip out to uh, go and get uh, my new Dewalt chaser because um, that's the third one I've had now. They keep breaking on me for some reason, and it's not because they're overly being overused. Because anything too major, we we hire the big massive like road breaker. To be honest, so um, I don't know why you just seem to have a bit of a run of bad luck with them. So. Um, but you know, uh, we we can't find anything else better uh, without spending mental money. Um, so yeah, just had to go and pick that up. But to be fair, screw fix, there's no arguments. They just go and get it sorted and change it out for me. So so yeah, so I'm gonna get up into the loft. It's a nice cooler day, so I don't stand to be sweating like a pig. So right, as you can see and gather, I'm not not at the rewire um, it's now 10 past seven it is um, sorry about that I didn't get to show you what we ended up getting done uh, today there but essentially we ran run the um, the lighting for upstairs and the sockets for upstairs uh, I had to come out because we a customer of mine basically he's um, getting on in years should we say um, and because of that you know he he rang me and he's got he's liable <laughs> essentially uh, I've been to his house to uh, change his light bulb that's genuinely really what I've done um, but you know he's, a, he's an old boy and you know it's one of those things where 
he really just wanted a natter. So, you know, hey, whatever. That's that's what you do. Um, I've <laughs> not really earned anything from it either. Um, but you know, it's all business and part and parcel of running a, a decent company, isn't it? So, um, so yeah. So I'm back at obviously at the rewire tomorrow, um, and I shall catch up with you in a little bit.